Good day gamers, welcome back to another video. Um, so glad you could join me again. Um, if you're not a subscriber, you know, hit that subscribe button and uh, if you like this video at the end, you know, before you leave, you know, at a uh, like button, I do appreciate any support you give. So yeah, without the pleasantries, uh, you know, get them out of the way. Um, what we're checking out today, we're gonna be checking out uh, Capcom Fighting Collection. Just downloaded it, so I thought I'll give each game a, a quick playthrough. So, uh, Let's see what we've got on the uh, library. So we've got you got with this collection. You've got ten games. Um, I have looked, and uh, seven games are already uh, going to be in other collections. You know, recent collections like um, you know the Capcom Arcade Stadium. There's uh, there's going to be about three or four in the Capcom Arcade Stadium Two, which is going to be released in a few weeks' time, and. Uh, there's also one on this Street Fighter Anniversary Collection as well. So if you've got them, you've got to bear in mind you're only going to get three games which ain't available in this collection, which ain't available on them ones. But I'll I'll go through them, um, let you know which ones are on the collections. But uh, also with this one, you get the Japanese. You can play the Japanese or English version, and uh, obviously some are different names. Red Earth, uh, that's never appeared, which is called Warzard in uh, Japan. But yeah, Hyper Street Fighter 2, the Anniversary Edition. This one's appeared, so you press Y, you can change the game settings and difficulty from this menu, looks like. Yeah, this one's appeared on the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, so just to let you know, this one's on that collection. Yeah, so from that screen, you go to the menu and you can change your your difficulty from this main menu. So let's try out the game, shall we? I'm going to try out each game, see how they are, how they play. So, always tell from the main game, you can change the, um, if you want a wallpaper. So I've had it at full screen, 4.3, which is basically the... Uh, default sort of setting real well it's not the default setting you have to change it to that but uh, it's how it would appear normally because it's 4.3 also I'll put a little few scan lines on as well just for that authentic vintage look of a CRT <laughs> I mean some on them are I'll put type C so it seems a bit more authentic so but yeah well, some some people like don't like them on but of my preference really yeah let's let's check this uh let's just check this one out it's already on uh i'm not really good at street fire 2 <laughs> it's been many years since i've been on it but uh yeah this one's already on this like i said before this is this has already appeared on the street fighter 30th anniversary collection so if you've got that you can or you've probably already played this one oh no she's gonna beat my ass yeah <laughs> maybe i should uh Lowered the difficulty. Okay, I'm playing with the normal joypad. Prefer to play with the uh, arcade stick, really. But uh, I've got an adapter where I can play. Just plug in one of my uh, Wii U arcade sticks. No, Wii arcade stick actually. I've got, or I've got an Xbox One. I've got a little adapter where uh, I can use the. Uh, control sticks on it as well this is a switch version by the way so just let you know on that <laughs> it's also available on ps4 ps5 xbox and xbox series and also pc as well so, yeah. so this is a super gem fighter uh, which collection is this is capcom arcade stadium now this is coming out on capcom arcade stadium too so so if you think about getting that collection this one's going to appear on that one as well so yeah, let's give it a quick playthrough check it out oh yeah we're just checking out the uh, settings that's Hyper Street Fighter 2 we've already just played that one so this is it Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix like I say Capcom Arcade Stadium 2 it's going to be coming out on that in a few weeks time so they have double dipped on a few 
Capcom have they, they, they have double dipped on a few games but uh, yeah they are really banging them out at the minute these collections and uh, they are doing them really brilliant I, I do like them I wish some of the uh, other companies are taking out like Sega and uh, do some of or Konami or Taito even <laughs> Wish I would do similar sort of collections. How this is uh, done, it's amazing. I'll have to make a, uh, another video in the future about other companies making uh, collections. But yeah, we're playing, we'll keep it to the uh, topic today on this collection. So, this Super Gem fight is kind of like a, a cartoony sort of you know little fighters little kid fighters a bit like they should fight a kids so super gem fighter let's go obviously we're going to do a taxi get a load of gems being chucked on the screen which you can collect and power up should really look, learn the moves but like I say it's just a quick gameplay today just check out each game see how they play how they look check the menus as well and uh, hopefully give you an idea about what each game looks like so so if you want to decide to uh, go all in and download this one or well, maybe you're just waiting for the one of the other collections I mean I've got the uh, Capcom arcade stadium as well it's an amazing collection and I think the only one on the at first Capcom arcade collection was the uh, Cyberbox game so that's uh, that's on that one as well so which is also in this collection we will get to that in a bit so go on it we'll just play one game just one game of each. Uh, well, we'll have one fight, not one full game. So if I lose, we'll just come out and try the next game. Yeah, looks like I'm going to lose this one. Yeah, we'll get an idea of that. Winner. Yeah, so let's quit that one. We've checked that one out. Super Gem Fighters. Next on the list, we've got Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo. And uh, looking at the list, I think this one's also going to appear on uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium 2 in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, there's about three or four which are on that on that collection, which are actually in this one. I think this is more like a uh, like a Tetris style. Yeah, you play it as a Tetris, but uh, it's got the uh, Street Fighter and Dark Stalkers characters in it. Played it ages ago, but uh, sort of forgot. I know it's like kind of a Tetris. Did I play it on Saturn? Did I? I think I had it on Saturn. I think it appeared on Saturn. I can remember playing on a, it might have been under another collection, on PS2 or something like that. It's kind of like Tetris, but uh, you sort of, more, or Columns, if you remember that game. That's right, you have to sort of, remember the exploding ones you have to uh, we'll put that on there black and blue down there Need some explodey explodey ones don't we Get rid of some of these. Oh, I ain't got no 
like to pull out a red one. I'll put that yellow there, red on top of that. There we go. Get rid of them reds. Right, what's that uh, diamond do? Oh, it gets rid of all the blues, that's it. Whatever colour you land on. Um, that'll get rid of them yellows. Uh, that's it. Uh, oh, that'll get rid of the load. You see, you set the idea, you sort of like. Um, I think I'm going to win this. I think I'm going to win it. That's um, Super Puzzle Fighter 2. I think these are all ports from the uh, arcade. So basically, uh, all these would have been appeared in the arcade. Um, so they're not ports of like um, Sega Saturn ports or anything like that. Cyberbox Capcom Arcade Stadium is, is, is already appeared in this collection. So if you've got that, so if you've played this one before, that's where you might have played it from. Just choose the uh, the mech. It's got a bit of a story. They stumbled across. Don't touch it. It's covered in blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, I'm just checking out the game at the moment, so we're not too bothered on the story. Fight. Okay, got to get used to the moves. <laughs> just button mashing at the moment. I don't know how much it is in the States, this collection, but it, uh, in the UK it was uh, $32.99. Um, to purchase. Um, yeah, usually, uh, I assume it's probably $39 around that part in the States. So you get, get 10 titles for that, um, which is you know, about £3.20 a, a title. But it's like I say, like, if you've already, if they're already appeared, like this has already appeared in Capcom Arcade Stadium, so it's obviously you're double dipping on some of the games, so unless you're a really big fan and you want all the it a few times in your collection which is not too bad I mean lucky I use some vouchers so it, in in real terms it hasn't really cost me uh, I used I used some vouchers to get a little bit cheaper so it wasn't too bad so you might want to wait for if you've got some of the other collections or getting cut car arcade stadium too you might want to wait for this to go on sale but if you're not getting that then it's a good idea to uh, it's well worth the money but if you're planning on getting Capcom Arcade Stadium 2, I'd probably wait for a sale on this one. Because there is a few games which um, haven't appeared on any other collections like yeah, Vampire Savior 2, uh, Vampire Hunter 2, and uh, that Warzard. You don't get them on any other collections. Apart from that, all the other seven are 
part of other collections. This also is uh, going to appear on Capcom Arcade Stadium 2 as well. Looking up from the list. Which I will be getting. <laughs> Um, still got some vouchers, so I might, I've actually got some vouchers on the um, some funds already in my uh, Xbox, so I might pick that pick that one up on the Xbox, I think, when it's released. Use them, get it a little bit cheaper. I mean, that, that is actually a better cl uh, value collection because it's that's also about thirty. Uh, £32 I think over in the UK and I think how many games you got on it I think about 20 games on that maybe more I can't remember I'll have to have a look at the list but yeah I'm really looking forward to that get some uh, some classics that I play, used to play in the arcade on that so but yeah, anyway back to this one um, got this on the um, PlayStation 2 I've uh, got the Japanese, I think it's the, uh, what's it called? Is it the Dark Stalkers collection, something like that? Yeah, I've got all these all these games on there. Uh, unfortunately, it was only a Japanese release, so I've got on Japanese PlayStation 2. <laughs> on disc. I mean, I could actually sell it now, I've actually got, and, uh, got it on this collection, so... But who knows? Because I don't really play my place. It's, it's actually even packed up, so it's just stood on the shelf. I, it's one thing I've been uh, considering, like getting rid of some of my uh, physical collections. And, but, uh, I keep thinking about putting it on eBay, but I'm like, no, I'll keep it. Just keep me my, my favourites. <laughs> Like a frog, like a lizard, froggy into. Victor, got me. Yeah, let's quit. That's, that's the. Let's dark stalkers. So yeah, we do these in the opposite order. So hopefully, like uh, night warriors. Is this? This is the second game in this series yeah this one's also going to be on Capcom Arcade Stadium 2 so yeah it's, uh, you'd be getting that on that collection as well so Bear that in mind if you're uh, thinking about purchase. If you're not already purchased this and thinking about purchasing this this collection, you know you might want to wait for a sale because there are a lot of games that are in this collection. Like I said before, on that on the Capcom Arcade Stadium 2. Okay, let's, let's choose Morrigan. I've not I've not looked at the moves or <laughs> I had a couple of these on uh, Saturn I can't remember which ones they were I know I haven't got them no longer just on PlayStation 2 on that collection I just said but I uh, can't remember which ones I had I know the might have been Vampire Saviour. It was a Japanese uh, Japanese version. I know I had many years ago I had um, Night Warriors as well on the UK Sega Saturn. Remember that box? Remember having it? <laughs> Uh, 
equip that. Just one game, one quick game, each game. Get through the collection. Just check each one out. Yeah, I think I, I think I had this one on Japanese Saturn. Ages ago. Many moons. I think I actually sold it because I picked it up on the uh, Japanese. The collect when I picked the collection up on there. The Japanese PlayStation Two. Yep, this one is also on the Capcom Arcade Stadium too as well, so So on Capcom Arcade Stadium we've got this one and uh, four other games. So yeah, you've got about five games on that Capcom Arcade Stadium. Capcom Arcade Stadium 2 I should have today, not the first one. You only have Cyberbots on the first Capcom collection, Arcade Stadium collection. I'm very rusty on the old beat at the moment. Oh, hang on, hang on. Could turn it around, could turn it around. No, no, it's not going to happen. No. I won, yeah, I did. Just turned it around then. So that's Vampire Saviour. And Vampire Hunter 2, Darkstalker's Revenge. That's the uh, follow up to that one I reckon, isn't it? Yeah, Vampire Hunter, Vampire Hunter 2. Japanese only. So only got a Japanese release only. Let's check this one out. I'd like to see a bit more information. Uh, one thing that ain't on this collection, you, you haven't got any um, like information of the game's release or what what systems it appeared on. So I'd like I'd like, I would have liked to have seen some of that in this uh, collection. I've noticed it hasn't got any. I think on the main menu it's got some kind of art book and you know sort of artwork and of each game but I remember I looked at it earlier and I thought it's n I'd, I'd like to see some info of the uh, actual game release what what territories it was uh, released in and uh, what systems it's appeared on I'd have liked to have seen some bit more information about that Some moves off on this one. Look at that! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> yeah. Here you go, putty cat. Arr. So that's that one. That's the uh, Vampire Hunter Two. Is uh, just one more to check out in the. Uh, uh, the Dark Stalkers series. That was the follow up to that one. Dark Stalkers Revenge. That one there. Vampire Saviour 2. The Lord of the Vampire. Come on, let's check this one out. See, it doesn't give a year. I know uh, it's easy to look up. I think it was like 97, something like that. This one was released, was it? Or was it? Might have been a bit later, 98, 90, I don't know, without looking up. Might be 97, I think. Bit 
at this character again, I reckon. Had some uh, Felicia. Some success on the last one. Okay. Scratchy bit, get your claws out, scratch him. That's what we like. I'm gonna win this. I'm getting the hang of this. Go. Yeah, go, putty cat. So that's your vampire series, uh, vampire hunter, vampire savior series, the dark stalkers. All that collection. I think that just leaves one more game, which is uh, Red Earth. That's the English name. And if you want to play in Japanese, it's called Warzord. I suppose you get Japanese uh, dialogue or language. A bit of information would be nice on the game, so let's take the uh, wallpaper off. We don't like wallpaper. Do you like playing with wallpaper on? I don't know. I, I prefer playing with it off. You just get the screen, and it's it's less distracting for my eyes. I mean, I guess some people like it, but I, I prefer to have a black screen behind. It's just my preference. Let's check this one out. So this has never been released on console before I read. I think I played it on the uh, on emulator via a Thomas Wave emulator. Just a quick playthrough, so kind of I've sort of checked it out. I've never seen it in the arcade either, so <laughs> I bet it was quite rare out of Japan. So never seen it in the arcades. I guess it was about a two. Is it a 2003 release? Yeah, I think it's somewhere around that, if I remember looking up. So yeah, let's check it out. You've got only got four characters. So yeah, you've got a nice little story to it. Young martial arts dynamo, yeah, I'll keep butt again. He's just won a competition. Hello, what's happened? Oh shit, somebody's burnt the fucking village down. That's it, we've got to go looking for a revenge now. No, we won't bother with story, I mean, we're just checking out the gameplay, so. This is the last game. I suppose this is why. A lot of people will be buying this because it's this this one isn't appeared in um, not appeared on any console or released before. So. And luckily they haven't put it in the Capcom Arcade Stadium too. <laughs> so yeah, at least they kept a few games, not double dipped on a few games. So yeah, if you like I said before previously, if you if you're planning on getting Capcom Arcade Stadium. Or you know, I won't pay both full price. You know, if you're planning on getting that over this, wait till this comes on sale. Or like me, if you've got vouchers to spend and use upon something that you don't know what to use, and use it for that. You know, so I won't. I won't certainly pay full price for both collections because you're just double dipping on a quite a lot of games. But if you're not planning on getting Capcom Arcade Stadium 2, yeah, 
yeah buy this one or by all means because it certainly is a it's a good collection so that's uh, Red Earth I'm certainly going to give out a lot of, a lot of play playing it's on, the, uh, it's on the Switch collection now so uh, yeah I'll be playing that when I take it down my mum's or visiting here visiting there on the go Check out a bit more. Oh, you badass. It's got fire. How do you dodge that? Might pick you up on either the Xbox or PlayStation 4 at a later date as well. So that's that. That's the. Uh, that's the collection. So, are you going to be buying it? I don't know. Or are you going to just wait for it's on sale? Um, yeah, Capcom Fighting Collection. What do you think? Um, it's definitely worth the collection if you're not picking up one of the uh, other collections because there's a lot of double dipping on the game. So, just bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, if you found this uh, video useful, if you liked it, leave us a like uh, and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So, yeah, because I do appreciate any support that you're giving. So, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll see you in the next video.